Hey guys, welcome to Jordan's Film Quest. Today's adventure, I'll be taking you to this building here. We are going to cover the filming location for the movie Teachers, starring Nick Nolte and a bunch of other huge names. And I'm currently standing outside of COSI, the center of science and industry, the former site of Central High School that used to be here, also known as John F. Kennedy High School from the movie. We have a lot to talk about. We have a lot to cover. So without further ado, let's go check out the school from the movie Teachers. Released October 5th, 1984, the movie Teachers was filmed on location at former Central High School in Columbus, Ohio. The original school was built in 1924 but closed down officially in June of 1982 and was never opened again. Sitting abandoned for quite some time, it would later be used as JFK High School for the film. But in 1999, the historic facade was incorporated to Kosai's front entrance. The movie was rated R for obvious reasons. Nudity, violence, language, and pretty much anything else you can think of. So basically the plot of the movie is a teacher overcomes his frustration in a high school full of flunkies as he attempts to educate his students. His attempts to help them gets him into even more trouble with the school board, which only adds more to his problems. With the support of his students, he beats the school board and his frustration. All right, so behind me would have been the front of the school, the parking lot, and clearly it has changed since 1984. Kind of would have wished they would have kept the original school the way it was, but we needed a science center to help educate the youth of our country. It's, it's actually kind of fitting because it's an old school and now it's a museum slash kind of like a school. But anyway, that's the front of the building and as you can see, the parking lot is no longer here. It is now a rest area slash park. And there are a ton of buildings being built up through here. So pretty much anything that you see in the film off in the distance is basically gone. Because right behind me, right there, is a veteran's memorial. And I, I really don't think that that I had a cameo slightly in the movie but there's almost nothing left out here to pinpoint but this is in fact the front of the school and I'm gonna take you behind the school because I know well I'm gonna take you behind the museum because there is a little bit of the school left from 1984 so let's go check it out okay so here we are at the corner of Bell Street and Town Street. Now what's funny about this location is when Eddie and Danny steal the driver's Ed car, they come down this road to the stop sign and they make a right, but after they turn, it shows them turning left, which really doesn't make any sense because if they would have came from this direction, it, it kind of curves when it goes up that way. But when Danny is yelling out the window, you can see like fences and buildings in the background. So they would have had to turn left coming from this road and going that way. Movie magic. So after Danny gets shot by the police for having a gun in his locker for trying to protect himself, there is an aerial shot of the school and this bridge straight ahead can be seen way off in the distance. That's about the only thing that's left within the area from that time period when this movie was filmed because like as you can see tons and tons of things are being built all over around here okay so here we are behind Kosai the back of the school this is the ending scene that took place here and we're going to try and pinpoint a few things so let's take a look so here we are at the back of the school at the end of the movie, Miss Lisa Hammond goes streaking through the school with Mr. Jarrell running after her. And Eddie Polikian pulls the fire alarm and they meet up in the hallway. And he tells Eddie to look after Mrs. Hammond. And then in doing so, Mr. Jarrell comes walking down these steps, coming out that door, walking down these steps, and what's great about this location 
is it is almost still the same since 1984 except it has been cleaned up a ton now in the movie it looks like dirty and grimy but in the movie these little dots can be seen in the background as well as Mr. Jarrell is walking out of these doors and that little design right there at the top of the door can be seen as well and there's a huge huge crowd going on right here as he's walking through and he walks down and Mr. Rebel is standing right over here next to this little planner thing along with the one lady I forget her name but they stand right here and they chat for a minute and he rips up Carl's resignation and he tells Carl that he doesn't need to resign and then Mr. Jarrell says, this place isn't for us. It's for the kids. <laughs> and then uh, you see a shot of Carl's uh, car returning to him with a uh, tow truck. And it would be coming from that direction down there. But after Mr. Jarrell rips up Carl's paper, he walks back. He walks up these steps. Well, he stops right before the steps. And he turns around and says, I'm a teacher. Then he looks over at Eddie and Lisa Hammond, and they're standing probably about right here. Mr. Rebel is over there by that planner. And as he says, I'm a teacher, Eddie runs up to him and asks him if he is going to stay or if he is going to go. And then that would be the end of the movie. Being such a simple movie about school and teaching, there's a powerhouse of cast members to this movie. Starting off, we have Nick Nolte with a little over 10 years of acting experience when he filmed this movie. Next, we have Judd Hirsch, who won two Primetime Emmy Awards. Next, we have Ralph Macchio, with two big films under his belt previous to this movie, we have Outsiders and Karate Kid. Next, we have Morgan Freeman. He was 47 during the filming of this movie, and he had an incredible acting background so far before this movie. Next, we have Laura Dern. She was very young, and after Teachers, she had an incredible acting career. Then we have Anthony Held, the narc, who also appeared in the movie Silence of the Lambs. And lastly, we have Crispin Glover. Not even a year later, he landed his big role as George McFly in Back to the Future. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> so only on a Monday would the school psychologist flip out. One of the students tries to eat a teacher and one of the students has been stabbed. Not bad for a Monday. In the movie, there is an aerial shot of the school coming from this direction right after Danny gets shot by the police. And it's kind of facing this right here. Now, obviously I don't have a drone or anything to get that exact shot, but comparing from the movie to real life, this is being up close and personal to the school itself which is actually really cool and it overlooks the Justice Center right there in downtown Columbus really cool to be here I literally just watched this movie the other day and seeing it in person and seeing all the old spots right here in front of them well behind the building yeah, as you can see Right there up top above the banners, it does say Central High School. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. All right, everybody, I think that's gonna do it for the filming location for the movie Teachers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Go ahead and subscribe, comment, share away. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, remember, be safe, take care, and I'll see you guys next time on Jordan's Film Quest.